I wanna be a modern Jedi Master my mind for a change Mark Shepard here, I'm here with Todd Rowland. Todd is one of my NLP Master Practitioner students and I, I love hanging out with Todd because he and I have similar backgrounds in that uh, we both have a real estate background. I unfortunately bought a lot of houses at the top of the 1980s real estate bubble uh, and lost them all, which was a defining moment for me because it forced me to become a musician. <laughs> <laughs> which is uh, really your career. Right. And, and Todd has been through the real estate, you know, uh, trials and, uh, and what's the other word? Trials and Tribulation. tribulations, traumas of, you know, the cyclical world of real estate and really found uh, ways to make it work. I mean, he, you hung in there and you learned and you just kept learning. Um, so I guess what I want to know the most from an NLP perspective is how you've used the things you've learned in your NLP training uh, to apply to the real estate world. How has it made it easier? Um, how has it enabled you to overcome stuff that was holding you back? Well, it actually was very uh, timely. Um, April 2000. Seven, my father died of cancer, who was um, my business partner as well, and we had uh, 15 or so properties at the time, and um, that was a rough time. I mean, he had six weeks of serious illness, so I was completely out of the business, right. and the business was just kind of stalled. Right. And uh, coming out of that, uh, of course, being the business was stalled, it wasn't doing very well. It was also at the time that the market was crashing, um, so things weren't, weren't real good, and I was in a really low period in my right. life. And, I had met Mark actually in January at Kim Kasperian's Success Genie mm -hmm. workshop and had signed up for the uh, Modern Jedi NLP practitioner training. Right. I went to the uh, sales training, which was three days with Mark, right. um, and uh, that was that helped. Every time, I, so for some reason, every time that I went and saw Mark, I felt better. <laughs> yes, every time he hung out with me, he felt better. I have that effect on people, and you too can have that effect yeah, on people. Absolutely. Um, and I went and did the uh, we did the NLP practitioner training in, in July and it really opened me up to my natural instincts. Um, my whole life was really about numbers and get to the point and hard-nosed business and mm -hmm. uh, my natural tendencies were always the opposite of that really. I'm, I'm much more kinesthetic mm -hmm. and uh, at first it was quite scary actually. The first day I was a bit overwhelmed with uh, the practitioner training. Not It was completely outside of what I had expected. I thought it was more of a business Right. training kind of a thing and it really got into pers personal relationships, personal development, um, right. thinking about working on yourself, working on my own stuff, which I've never done. And, and, and my, I insist that that is business. Those are the best business. Oh, I definitely agree with you. How you, know. how you in interact with yourself and with other people on a personal communication level is the key Absolutely. to the most successful business. Because what most people will teach you about real estate is the nuts and bolts, the tech. And the tech is 10% yeah, of, yeah. of any business. The rest of it, the 90%, is the people skills. It's interacting with people. And I was always stuck on the tech because that was easier right. than dealing with feelings. Yeah, so there's, there's the, we call it the what, you know. And <laughs> there's, you can learn lots of different things. You can, whether it's internet marketing or real estate or, or dentistry, uh, there's stuff you do in, right. your, in your business, um, you know, how to deliver a good product, blah, blah, blah. But ultimately, how you interact with your employees, how you interact with your customers, how you connect with yourself, how you keep, deal with your stress, how you um, deal with all the childhood crap that we all have that comes up in any team right. situation. Well, you know, uh, Henry in, uh, in sales is complaining because, you know, Joe in... Uh, Production isn't doing this or that, and you know, and this stuff comes up. Yep. You know, how do you deal with everyday it? life? Um, and so, for me, that's it's cool to hear that 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 was valuable to you. And it's 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 um, it's subtle. I mean, you, I don't I don't think about it every day. I was actually discussing with one of my colleagues that I use it all the time, and the tools that I continue to to learn about NLP, I use it every day. But it becomes so second nature to you. That uh, I go into a presentation and I instantly develop rapport with people where I never would have before. I would have had the walls up before and, right. and scared. It's given me an enormous amount of um, confidence right. 
that I didn't have, particularly in those days. Right. When I was in a dark period, and now yeah. I, I just feel so much better. Yeah. Um, I mean, I remember when you came to the reluctant salesperson, that was before the NLP training, right. and there was a bonus that you got. And um, you were having trouble in just sitting down with your potential clients. You would get really nervous, yes. and you would feel like you didn't know what to say. And, yep. And you were trying, you wanted to help people, your intention was there, but you didn't know how to convey that. Right. How has that shifted for you? Um, I don't worry about, see before it was all, always about learning more tech and being perfect. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. nobody would think I didn't know what I was talking about. Or right. didn't, or you know, you have 20 years it. of experience in real estate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but I always tell myself, is if they ask, what if they ask me a question I don't know the answer to? Right, and, and if you ask a question like that, you'll get, the kind of answer that goes with the question right, like that. Right. But if you ask yourself a better question, like, why do I help these people and why do we make a situation, create a win-win, you know, deal, then you get an answer that... And how can I serve these people? How can I serve these people? Well, but what I found is I'm very comfortable in front of people now. And I've also realized that it's a relationship. It's, if I don't know the answer to a particular question they ask me, I will say, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. That's important to you, I can find out. Yeah. Yeah. But at that point, we've built so much rapport and we're so comfortable with each other. I now go there in every presentation, in, in any listing. I'm going there as an investor to buy their house. I'm simply a counselor. Right. I'm there to help them any way I can. If I can't help them, I tell them. Right. I don't think this is the right fit for you. I'm not going to be your solution. Right. Here's some other tools that I have that you might, might follow up on. Right. It's help. Confidence is huge, I guess. The other thing is the tools that we learned in, in our NLP practitioner training, which mirroring and matching, uh, chunking up, people get mired down in the details, and you know what, what are we trying to accomplish? Get them up out of the mud, so to speak, right. uh, right. is another great one. The so, use of language. Right. Yeah. So what can we all agree on? Exactly. <laughs> <You know? laughs> we agree you have a house you want to sell, and there's a house that I'd like to buy. Can we agree on that? Great. At least we have a starting point. Right, right. Okay. Cool. Anything else? Uh, we don't have a lot of time here, so any, is there one thing that you can share with someone who might have heard of NLP, who is interested in, in learning more, um, that, you know, some advice, some suggestion you can give them? Well, I would give uh, all potential real estate investors, which is what my world is, investors and um, realtors, uh, agents that have been stuck in uh, getting their designations and getting more tech and learning the sales skills in the, in the dating world, and it's called the pickup lines. Um, that stuff is important, but it's only this much. If you really want to become a top producer and you really want to work on yourself, you need NLP, you need the hypnosis training, you need to know how to mirror and match people. And most of it, I think the biggest tip for me was that it was working on the, the stuff inside of me. Right, yeah. That helped me more than, than anything else in, in life. Right. Um, Do you find that when you change yourself, the rest of the, the other people change? <laughs> All of a sudden, people are a lot nicer. When I when I started treating myself nicely, all of a sudden, the people I met in the world were really nice. I changed my attitude, That's and everyone true. else was was nicer to me. Was uh, putting more money in my pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's amazing. I, I can't say enough about the training. If uh, if you ever had any any doubt or you want to go to the next level in your business, you need this course. Yeah, cool, cool. And by the way, Todd will be there in July of 2008 as a an assistant, and I hopefully he'll be there as. Uh, uh, one of my co-trainers in the future <laughs> and uh, master practitioner level and, and other levels of NLP. Uh, so uh, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, thank, thank you, Todd thank you very much. and uh, Mark Shepard saying so long for now and uh, visit ModernJedi.com, learn more about NLP and I'll also list Todd's 12 million different websites that he <laughs> has as well uh, will be with this video so uh, check it out, learn more and, and whether you work with me or with someone else Learn about NLP, learn what it can do for you, Absolutely. and there's lots of opportunities now. It's a growing field, and it enables you to totally master lots of these subtle areas of your life that may have frustrated you in the past and caused you a lot of pain and just stopped you. So do it. Do it today. Take some action. All right? Thanks a lot.